feel like everything is against me today. First I ran out of battery, I ran out of space for my SD card, this is my second time trying to film this. They don't want me to film a Q&A, but I'm gonna film a Q&A. I want you in a broken down car. So I went and got the drop top Rolls Royce and I went and got the Phantom. your questions you guys wrote into me over on my Instagram under my picture and asked some questions and I'm gonna answer them right now well, one would hope Emma that's why you're in front of a camera the key I took screenshots of the questions <laughs> wasn't gonna like learn them off by heart although I did try Okay, Colin Antichrist, if you could be a celebrity um, from the opposite sex, who would you be and why? Well, considering I should be in Coachella right now... <laughs> I wasn't here working. I would like to be a rock star on the main stage. Just singing, playing my guitar to my fans, having the time of my life. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I'm currently Caro. What motivates you and how did you get where you are? Two really great questions. That is an excellent question. I think what motivates me is very simple and practical. It's just that I know that I've only got one life, so I try to maximize each day to the full. So I'm here and everything I want to achieve is here. And I know that I've got to work really hard to get to where I want to go. So it's a case of just putting in the work and have fun while I'm doing it. I started off doing something totally different. I went to medical school and then I transferred out to do a history degree. It was a big, big gamble. I really enjoyed the classes and everything like that, but I looked at the career and I was just like, I don't think I can do this. Anybody have any objections? So I decided to do a history degree from King's College in London and then I went to the US. I went on a TV show, I was modeling there and I started my blog there. So I started taking pictures and documenting them. I built my website and then I came to the UK. I was on a TV show here and I was blogging and I kind of wanted to just share more of the story than show these glossy perfect images. I wanted to show the fun off-camera moments too. So that's why I started video and my YouTube channel. Christine Moxie says, I think I remember an appearance on Made in Chelsea. What was that like? Well, Christine, that was an experience. Uh, would I do it again? Computer says no. You know, we live and learn and <laughs> I don't have any regrets. I got to bring on my friends. I had Arena, Victoria on the show with me. I came onto the show really because I knew a lot of the cast members, but it was a bit clicky and I think people were like looking to tear each other down. Regina says everyone hates you because you're such a slut. Did she said that? Overall, you know, it's a BAFTA winning show. I can see how it's really entertaining. From Mark Sanders, who is your idol? I'm inspired mainly by people who I see work really hard, are self-made and empower other women. Uh, and one springs to mind. I actually have her book. It's called Hashtag Girlboss. So you might already know who I'm talking about. It's Sofia Amoruso. She basically started this incredible business at the age of 22, selling vintage items on eBay. And in 2016, Forbes named her as one of the richest self-made women. And that same year, her company also filed bankruptcy and she went through a divorce. She basically has turned her life around and she's got back up on her feet to come back bigger and better. And I just, I love that. That really gets me going. Girl power. Girl, we run this Amina says, can you tell me where you get so much energy from? You're always positive and smiling. Oh, thank you, Amina. I try. <laughs> I guess I get energy from being around really positive people. And I also focus on what I have rather than what I don't have. And that keeps me really motivated and positive. You know, we have so much to be grateful for. And just thinking about all those great things that we have in our lives, like health and family, they put everything into perspective. Exercising, eating well, getting my sleep, my eight hours sleep. Um, and of course, you know, the occasional coffee morning, lunch, time, and dinner. <laughs> I mean, a girl's gotta have her coffee, right? And then Philippa Jackson says, where do you get inspiration for your videos? I get inspiration for my videos really randomly. I could be brushing my teeth, I could be running in the park, I could be um, ironing. Mm. I, don't, I don't iron, I mean, 
<laughs> I don't know, like making a cup of tea. Ideas also come from other YouTubers that I love watching. So some of my favorite YouTubers, Carly Kloss, in the fro, Sam Evans, I love his travel vlogs, Casey Neistat of course. So Mox97 says, what motivates you to stay healthy and active most of the time? I'm motivated mainly by that feel good factor. When I've done a workout, I feel energized, refreshed, and just ready for the day. So yeah, I love having a good morning workout. Also, I wanna look good in a bikini. Do you imagine yourself living anywhere else besides London? I would love to live in San Francisco, New York. I've lived in LA before and had a great time. So I really love living in different parts of the world and experiencing different cultures. But I think London will always be a home for me because I have my family here. The next question is from Dari Huber. Recommendations on non-tourist stuff to do in London. Someone else actually asked me this question as well. My favorite thing to do in London is to go onto a roof terrace that has a view over the city and watch the sunset. It sounds really cliche and it's not as romantic as it sounds because I'm probably gonna be there with my tripod and my camera set up <laughs> filming a time lapse. So my favorite places in London to see an incredible view in the Me London Hotel. You see Big Ben, you see um, Parliament, you see the Thames, you see the city in the east side, and the sunset there is incredible. And to be honest, like the best way to explore London is to just get on a bike, they have them all over the city, and just cruise around and discover new places for yourself. Like that's one of my favorite things to do. Next question. Eva Sunsi says, what is your favorite place in the world? Oh, one of my favorite places to go for the summer Actually, I have three, <laughs> and I'm just gonna show you some fast snippets of them. Mykonos, Sardinia, Positano. I'm also like a real water baby, so I love being in the sea. So anywhere with crystal blue waters, sandy beach is my happy place. Caroline Eek says, any funny childhood stories about you and your brother? So I text my brother just before, and I was like, Mike, what funny story? <laughs> Oh my god, my brother just texted me, the tennis bat. I was gonna use that one, but I thought it sounded too aggressive and violent. So we were in the garden and I was playing with the, the bat and my little brother, who was like, I guess eight at the time, he was like running around and I was swinging my bat. I throw the ball up and I go to hit it and it hit his head. Oh, I just remember that sound. I remember the sound of the bat against, it brings back bad memories. There's a lot of blood. I remember the guilt. I think I was crying more than he was. I'm, I'm like getting emotional right now thinking about it. I rushed to hospital, a and &E, and then he gets seen by this doctor. And the doctor is looking at me, and the doctor's looking at my mum. Asking lots of questions about my brother, and then he looks at me and he goes, how many times did she hit him? What do you think? How many times I hit him? Do you think I was like hitting him like this, my eight-year-old brother? No! You don't understand, it was an accident. I looked at my mum in like complete disbelief and my mum was like, no, 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 she only hit him once. Luckily my brother's is alive and kicking, he's alive and well. We're friends again. Was your skin always like this? Truth is... My skin isn't perfect and I have lots of imperfections. For example, I have rosacea, which means the capillaries run quite close to the surface. It's very easy to get rid of that through laser, through IPL, which I am actually starting. I had my first treatment, I'll show you what it was like so far. I'm here with Lucy, who is going to do the laser treatment. It's actually toned down a lot more now, so it's not so red in appearance. You might not notice because it's been zapped with a zapper. Oh my god, that, that experience was a bit painful, I'm gonna be honest. But I had some laser treatment on it. I had a broken blood vessel here. Funny story behind that. When I was in the south of France celebrating my birthday with some friends on a boat, uh, we decided to take out a smaller boat with a big inflatable banana. Yeah. Not the brightest idea. I mean, I've tried other water sports. I've tried kite surfing, windsurfing, bodyboarding, wakeboarding, monoski. I've tried everything. I was like, what harm can a banana do? Why not? And my friend was really keen, so we got on the banana, I had my goggles on, my inflatable jacket, taking it very seriously. And we fell off the first time, so it was fine. I was like, okay, got back on. But I got on on the front, and my friend was like, are you sure, Emma, you wanna get on the front? Because it's a lot harder on the front. And she was an experienced banana, in banana, banana goer. <laughs> so what? She'd been on a banana inflatable before, so she was a bit more experienced. I wasn't. I was like, it's fine, it's fine, I'll just get on the front, because I'd fallen off that way. So I got on the front, we go over the first wave, and I go, my hands went straight to my nose. I thought my nose had broken. I was in the water like this, I'm dying, I'm dying. Blood coming out of my nose. My friend was like, oh my god, I've killed her. Luckily, I survived, and it wasn't a broken nose. It was a broken blood vessel, but you know, 
That's the coolest fucking story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Can I hear it again? Do you have time? Yeah, yeah. Stay away from those bananas. They're dangerous. And I will not be getting on back on a banana anytime soon. But back to my skin. Got a little bit sidetracked there. My skin hasn't always been like this, but it's a work in progress. And many things have helped my skin improve greatly from what it was, which was like oily combination and prone to breakouts. You can obviously improve on what you have um, with different treatments and creams. But at the end of the day, nothing's going to be perfect. So we just have to embrace our imperfections. I like to I like to say something. I almost forgot to tell you guys that I just reached 20,000 subscribers. It's amazing. Woo so happy, honestly. You guys might not know this, but I consider myself a bit of a loner. I didn't think that this would happen. There's many people tuning in to watch my videos and it's like the best feeling ever. I just wanna say thank you so much guys for all your support. So I'm gonna do a big giveaway. So I've decided that for the next two videos I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away some amazing beauty goodies. This makeup palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Flawless foundation from Kevin O'Conn. Ico mascara. Lipstick from Diego Dalla Palma. And the details on how to win are gonna be over on my Instagram. So check out my Instagram and you'll see on my latest post on the hashtag EM giveaway the competition and how to enter so good luck guys and may the odds be ever in your favor give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment below because I love reading them and if you're not yet subscribed press that subscribe button for weekly videos and I'll see you in my next one bye I'm going to be on this stage talking about YouTube and vlogging and yes, I'm nervous. Yes, I need to catch my breath. <laughs>